Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we start, we would like to thank you all for the support you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. And you help us do that. So thanks again. Now back to the video. Did you know that every little thing you do can reveal signs about your personality type? Even the way you walk can influence how others see you. A particular study carried out in 2017 by Caleb Backey, a health and wellness expert, shared and compared the walking speed and styles with the big five personality traits. The traits included were openness, agreeableness, neuroticism, extroversion, and conscientiousness. Before we begin, we would like to remind you that this video is not intended to make you feel overconscious about how you walk, but it's a way to give you some insight into how your walking style can influence how others may think of you. So with that said, Psych2Go presents what the way you walk reveals about your personality. Number one, the executive. Do you walk at a fast pace without focusing too much on what's going on around you? Are you the type to hold your head up high even though you're absorbed in your own thoughts? If so, you may have an executive personality type. As an executive, your main personality trait, according to the big five personality traits, is conscientiousness. You are goal-oriented and a great problem solver, but your focused strides and your tendency to ignore the surroundings may give an unfriendly and intense vibe to other people. Number two, the politician. Have you ever been told that you walk in a lively manner? Perhaps you hold your head up high with your chest forward and shoulders back. This walk describes the politician since politicians are known to be prideful and great at speaking and engaging with people. Your main personality traits are openness and extroversion, also desiring acknowledgement and appreciation. You're also someone who enjoys challenges but gets bored very easily. Number three, the worrier. Do you have a habit of keeping your head down while walking slowly? These two traits are commonly found in those who worry a lot. So if your answer to the question is yes, then you might be a worrier. Your inner cautiousness makes you take slower and shorter strides because you're always looking out for yourself. Worriers also have the personality trait of introversion or low extroversion. So you might find yourself constantly keeping your eyes on the ground rather than walking with your head held high. Number four, the chiller. Another type of walk is called the chiller. This is when you walk at a slow pace while taking soft steps and where your body is in a loose and relaxed posture. The chiller refers to someone who has a very easygoing and relaxed approach to life. Your main personality traits are agreeableness since you're someone who tends to focus on others more than yourself. And you're also very calm and intuitive, but may give off the impression of a slacker or someone who's easily influenced by others. Number five, the arm crosser. Are you someone who prefers to cross your arms when you walk? This action usually signifies a desire to distance or isolate yourself by creating a psychological and physical barrier, which in turn can signal vulnerability. However, studies have shown that there is a special importance on who you're giving the impression to because crossing your arms with strangers has a different meaning to crossing your arms when surrounded by friends. Ultimately, strangers will get the impression that you're distancing yourself, while friends will get the impression that you're interested and engaged in the conversation. Number six, the stomper. Do you tend to walk while taking loud steps that resemble a stomp? This action can give people around you the impression that you are angry, frustrated, or that you're a persistent person in addition to it possibly meaning that you have a short temper. It can also give the impression that you have a childish nature. And number seven, the showboat. Lastly, the showboat describes someone who walks with a high level of confidence and intent, along with walking with your head held high and your shoulders back. You also have a tendency to emphasize gestures, such as swaying your arms or hips in an exaggerated manner to attract the attention of those around you. The showboat generally refers to people who like to brag or boast. Your personality has traits of command and charisma, although people might get the impression that you're self-absorbed. So, which type of walk do you do? Let us know in the comments below. 
If you found this video interesting, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. References and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.